Trace 5. <laughs> All right, what's up guys? It's CI here, Chris here. And today's video consists of my predictions for the New York Subliners home series. These games make up the beginning of stage five of the CDL season, which is also the last one before champs. Since the last set of predictions I recorded, some roster changes have occurred. The Los Angeles Thieves have picked up John and Ben Shuke. And the Los Angeles Gorillas are now starting Mental in place of Chino. I'll be basing these predictions on these most current roster updates. All right, but as always, I hope you guys enjoy. And for the first matchup here, we have Atlanta FaZe versus the London Royal Ravens. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. FaZe has been the best team all season. They won the last two majors in a row and are currently first in the standings. London has struggled recently. They went out very early during Major 4 and also did not perform very well during this stage. I do not expect the series to be very close to be honest. FaZe has been a very dominant team all season and London has failed to ever really find their groove. They currently sit at 11th in the standings and lost to the team currently in 12th of Seattle Surge during the stage 4 major. And for the next matchup here we have Optic Chicago versus the Paris Legion. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of Chicago Optic. Optic has been playing well recently. They made it all the way to Sunday during the Stage 4 Major. Paris, in contrast, did not do very well during the Stage 4 Major. They lost their first match of it to Surge, which instantly landed them out of the tournament. Optic, however, when facing top teams in the game, tends to crack. They were the first team eliminated on Championship Sunday last Major, despite making it as they faced a loss to Dallas. Because of this, I think Paris has the ability to take one map on Optic on the basis of them making mistakes. Also, the last time these two teams matched up, Optic won 3-1. And for the next matchup here, we have the Minnesota Rocker versus the Los Angeles Gorillas. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the Minnesota Rocker. The Rocker have been playing good recently. LG in contrast has not done the best recently. I do not expect this series to be that close to be honest. I do not think LG's roster change will help them improve. Chino was their best performing player prior to this switch so I think it'll be interesting to see how this change plays out for them. I think the Rocker are just the more talented team and I expect them to have no trouble prevailing in this series. And for the next matchup here we have the New York Subliners versus the Los Angeles Thieves. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the New York Subliners. NYSL has been one of the best teams in the game as of late. The Thieves on the other hand have had a lot of woes recently. An unfortunate situation involving Cuke during Major 4 resulted in Draza having to play in his place. This ended up with them facing a loss to LAG right away and being instantly eliminated from the tournament. They also failed to win either of the matches they had during their home series that took place right before the last major. I unfortunately do not expect this series to be close to be honest. NYSL has looked rather scary as of late to me. All of their players have been performing well and I expect the Thieves to struggle a bit as a brand new roster, especially versus a team as good and talented as NYSL. And for the next matchup here we have Atlanta FaZe versus the Paris Legion. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. FaZe has been disgusting all season. They are the top team in the game and insanely crack. I think that they definitely display more talent than Paris. I do not expect this series to be close and I think FaZe will have no issues securing the W here. And for the next matchup here we have the Florida Mutineers versus Seattle Surge. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Florida Mutineers. Both Florida and Seattle have looked better in my opinion as of late. They both definitely seem like they've made improvements. Because of this I think this is a really hard series for me to call. I expect a close series to ensue but think the Mutineers will just barely be able to prevail. And for the next matchup here we have the Dallas Empire versus the Los Los Angeles Gorillas. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the Dallas Empire. Dallas last major barely lost the finals to FaZe. They took them the distance but dropped the map 9 to lose 4-5. LAG as stated before I believe will not benefit off their roster change. I think that Dallas right now looks super scary and should easily take the win here no problem. And for the next matchup here we have the Los Angeles Thieves versus the London Royal Ravens. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Los Angeles Thieves. Neither of these teams have been doing too well recently. I think that LAT may be able to prevail though if they are finally able to find their groove with this new roster. If John ends up improving their team, I think they display enough talent to beat London. I think that Slasher is better than Venom and that they may have finally found their best combination of players yet. The team never really had the best vibes with Hugh, therefore they unfortunately never met their max potential from what it looks like in my opinion. I do think London will give the Thieves a run for their money though and it will be a highly contested series. And for the next matchup here, we have the Toronto Ultra versus the Minnesota Rocker. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the Toronto Ultra. Toronto has been one of the best teams all season. They took third at major four and currently sit at third in the standings. The Rocker are good, but I do not think they display enough talent to beat the Ultra. And for the last matchup of the weekend here, we have Optic Chicago versus the New York Subliners. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of NYSL. Both of these teams have been playing good recently. NYSL will be coming into this series after 3 0 their opponent prior. Optic will also be coming out on a win, but will have been a 3-1. Although NYSL didn't do too hot last major, they were under some really unfortunate circumstances. I think if a team was able to play with them, they definitely would have done better. I think that 
because of this, he'll be even more fired up this stage and playing with the Vengeance. Also, as stated before, Optic has not performed well versus top teams as of late, so I think they will crack under the pressure. I also expect the Subliners to step up, as it is their home series. And now for my updated power rankings. In 12th, the London Royal Ravens. In 11th, the Los Angeles Thieves. In 10th, the Los Angeles Gorillas. In 9th, the Paris Legion. In 8th, the Seattle Surge. In 7th, the Florida Mutineers. In 6th, the Minnesota Rocker. In 5th, Optic Chicago. In 4th, the New York Subliners. In 3rd, the Toronto Ultra. In 2nd, the Dallas Empire. And in 1st, Atlanta Phase. Alright guys, but that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm super excited for this weekend of games and I can't wait to see how they all play out. Alright, but as always, let me know what your thoughts are down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. But until next time, it's been CIA or Chris. Hashtag 100 TCIM. Peace.